Right, welcome. I wanted to record this video to go over why I think, and I'm of course a bit biased, but why I think you should be leveraging AI. And the reality is that AI isn't just a tool that you can apply to marketing or an SEO, right? AI is a technology that's being used all throughout the world in every single industry, right? Whether that's uh, robots to I mean, marketing stuff, writing, video, every single thing in every single industry will be upgraded with AI, right? And if you're not leveraging AI for whatever it is you're doing, you're going to get left behind, right? Because not leveraging AI and, and not uh, embracing this new technology that's propelled humans to be more productive, do more stuff, do better, right, is a mistake. And I oftentimes give uh, this analogy, which I'll, I'll give once again, which is the uh, stair analogy right here, right? And you can call the the, next, the last step right here uh, success, and I mean, let's call success money, right? And this stair case doesn't just apply to um, to SEO and to marketing, but because this channel is about SEO and Google rankings and all that, I'm going to make it tailor to uh, tailor the analogy to that right uh, previously right if you wanted to rank a site on google you'd have to do the q research manually so go out and figure out okay what are my competitors what are my competitors ranking for right and what what type of opportunities opportunities sorry are there in here that i can target and leverage to make my own site rank because my site is newer it's less uh, authoritative right so i mean i need to target like keywords that my competition isn't targeting and pick and choose my my way around them right and this took and takes a lot of time, right? Competitor analysis, keyword research, figuring out what keywords you want to target, because you want to target ideally buyer intent keywords. So keywords that maybe have less searches, but one search of a buyer intent keyword is 10 times more valuable than a search for a non-buyer intent keyword. And let me give you a quick analogy here instead of this all analogy. Let's say if we have an iPhone repair shop, right? And we drive customers, and customers come in, right, because they search on Google, Google for uh, where to repair an iPhone or uh, how much does it cost to repair an iPhone. But we also get customers in that search for um, how to repair an iPhone. Now, let's say how to repair an iPhone, this keyword gets uh, 10,000 searches per month, right? And let's say this one, where to repair an iPhone or how much, let's say they get together 1,000, right? So it's 10 times less. However, someone searching for where and how much is much more likely to buy it or to, to want someone to repair their iPhone for them than someone searching for how. Because someone searching for how to repair an iPhone, most likely they want to do it themselves, right? They don't, they don't want to pay someone to do it for them, right? So even though, excuse me, it has 10,000 searches, so 10 times more searches, most likely you should be able to convert maybe 10 people, right? Why here? We may, be able to, we may be able to convert 100 because people searching for this, their buyer intent, right? The buyer intent in the keyword they're typing is much, much higher than someone searching for how, right? Again, because someone searching for how, sorry, uh, most likely wants to do it themselves, doesn't want to pay someone to do it for them. So very, very important here. And again, this could be a video on its own, right? Going over the keyword research, uh, how to choose the best keywords and all that. But again, previously without AI, this took so, so much time, right? Because you have to do it all manually, right? Then. If I don't know, you finally know, sorry, what keywords you want to rank for, right? You have them all layered out, and so it's time to start producing the blog post. So you have to write the whole blog post, right? Write it all up with proper heading structures, uh, proper content structuring, make sure that it's easy to read, easy on the eyes, add bullets maybe, add tables, add quotes, right? All this manually takes so, so much time. Then, I mean, you gotta add some visual elements to the content, right? Add images, but first you gotta source the images, right? We're gonna find the images. Are these gonna be license-free photos? Are they gonna be your own images? Google stock photos, AI images, right? You're gonna do all this manually, right? Then, more visual element, elements, sorry, videos. You might wanna complement your articles with videos, right? Maybe some review videos, right? I don't know, right? All these visual elements, that elements, sorry, that complement your article. But then you gotta go on YouTube, right? Figure out, okay, what's the best video that I can take here, copy, and embed in my article? Again, it takes a ton of time, right? Yet another step you have to do manually. Then, internal links. So, because on your article, right, you might want to sprinkle in some links, right, to other articles you've wrote on, written, sorry, to other blog posts of yours, maybe to your homepage, maybe to your uh, contacts page, maybe some affiliate links right here, might, right, you might want to sprinkle in some links. I and mean, to do this, you have to read through the article, find the best place, the best paragraph to add links into, uh, choose the right anchor text, right, this takes a lot of time. Same thing for external links, right, you might want to link out to external authoritative sources. For example, if this is an article about finance, you might want to link out to Bloomberg, you might want to link out to uh, TechCrunch, right, all these authority, authoritative publications in your niche. So, yeah, that's another step that you have to do manually, right? Then, of course, you have to go out and, I mean, there should, there should be a bunch more little steps here because then you have to figure out and go out and publish it. Then you have to go out and syndicate it to social media, right? All this takes so, so, so much time, right? And by leveraging AI and thinking about AI as 
a, a tool, right, as a, a wrench, for example, as a tool that you can take and propel yourself, right, to skip ahead of the line and skip all these steps, you're going to be so much more ahead of your competitors. Because again, while your competitors are going up the ladder slowly, one by one by one by one, you have this tool, right, this AI tool, leveraging the AI technology to skip ahead of the line, right? I mean, not to say that you can just go here to success, because if everyone has access to, access to, this, to this tool, sorry, the the step for success is going to be much, 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 much more higher, higher up here, right? But as of now, while not everyone has access, access to this tool and not everyone is using it, success is still very attainable just by the for the people that leverage these tools. And you get to skip ahead of all these people that are one by one going up the stairs and doing the queue research manually, uh, writing the content manually, then going out and figure out where, where are the best images to add to the article, skimming through them, saving them to their drive, and uploading them to the site. Same thing for video, same thing for internal links, external links, publishing, then syndication to social media. All this takes so, so much time. Even indexing, right? Getting the articles indexing. All this takes so much time. So again, leveraging these tools and the technology, the AI technology as a whole is super, super important. And that's exactly what this tool does, right? Again, I'm of course 100% biased because I do own this tool, but generally say right here, it can generate articles for you, like the ones you see here right here. I'll just show you the one I generated for the uh, golden retriever niche. Again, all this that I'm gonna show you right now, these are all done with AI. So if we go here, so again, the in article image, the, actually the featured images, the proper table of content, right? The proper content structure with in article images, they're all done with AI, even though they look, look super realistic, right? All this then with AI, the bulls, the quotes, that was the quotes, the internal links, external links, right? Even in article videos that are relevant to what the content is about. Again, do, a video about dog grooming in an article about dog grooming. So again, all of this, done with AI, the content creation, right? Then you just click a button and you can just post it with a single click, right, to your site, right, your integration. In this case, the integrations are all these ones, can be WordPress, can be Shopify, Ghost, Wix, Webflow, all these ones. And then you can also set it up an auto blog, which I won't do right now, but you can have it so it's automatically generating plus publishing however many articles you want to your site every single month, weekday, 12 or six hours. So again, you're connecting this AI with your site and it's generating plus it's posting content to your site. Also, it also does the content indexing automatically. Just go here to indexers, set up an indexer, and we'll connect your site with Google and we'll automatically index any content that's published. Also, it does the keyword research for you, right? Before the generation, you can also set it up so it does the keyword research for you. Just go here to keyword monitors and set it up. It will give you the keywords you should be targeting, the competition and all this, and, you can, and then you can just produce based off of those keywords. On top of that, you can also set it up so that once the content is published to your site, automatically syndicates to social media, to your LinkedIn, to your Facebook page, to your Twitter, right? All this done automatically for you. And because of all this automation, again, you get to skip ahead of the line of all these people doing it manually. So pretty powerful. And again, this doesn't just apply to, to SEO and to ranking sites on Google and to marketing. It applies to every single thing in life, right? AI is a technology and you gotta think of it about you gotta think of it as a tool, right? As a tool you can leverage to go ahead and skip ahead of the line and skip all the steps by jumping to the top to the top. That's it. That's a video short one, but hopefully you find this valuable because I, I'm really passionate about AI and I really do think that people that can take this and can leverage this technology will be uh, coming out on top, right? That's it. Thank you for watching. If you do want to check it out this tool, I'll leave a link for it in the description. Try it out, give it a go. If you like it, let me know. If you don't like it, let me know as well. And yeah, I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.